everybody, Leo CJ Drill, and today I'm going to show you how to build the simplest, most easy compost bin imaginable, okay? Not only is it going to be quick and easy, but it's going to cost you a little bit of nothing to build. Let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need heavy gauge fencing, okay? Uh, this is fencing that's used for livestock, and if you come in close, you can get a really good idea of how thick it is. Next, you're going to want a piece of 2x2. Two two. Now, this is pressure treated, and what I've done is I've taken the 2x2 two two and I've made a point at the end because it's going to serve as a stake for us. And look, you're going to want to make certain that you pressure treat it because you're going to drive the stake into the ground. If you go with something that isn't pressure treated, it's going to rot on you. Okay, other than the 2x2 you know, two two pressure treated, just to have a piece of scrap wood to help you drive down the stake so you're not coming in direct contact with the, the hammer. So just a piece of scrap wood, a hammer. I've got uh, six fender washers. Probably will need less, but it doesn't hurt to have more. Now these screws here, they're an inch in uh, length and... Uh, they're for decking. They're decking screws. So they're self-tapping. You don't have to use pilot hose with these things and they're weather resistant. And then just a battery operated drill with a Phillips head bit. And don't forget safety glasses. Now let's get started. So here's the thing. The needs of your yard determine the size of the compost bin. You may want something high or you may want something low. It's a personal thing. So I'm going to show you how to construct this thing, and it'll take a matter of 10 minutes. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the fencing, and I've flipped it upside down. So we've got our factory edge here at the bottom. We've got our factory edge at the bottom, and up top is going to be the bottom part of the bin. So I'm going to bring it together like so. So I'm bringing the two ends together. Okay bringing the two ends together and I'm overlapping it. Now I'm going to take my stake, flat end, and insert it inside the bend. Now I'm going to take my fender washers and I'm going to attach the fencing to the stake. Okay. So what you want is you want the fencing to run in the center of the piece of wood. Because what's going to happen is we're going to take our fender washer here with our screw and we're going to place it right here in this corner. So if you have help and you have somebody who can, can actually hold for you, that helps. And that's what I've got. I've got an assistant who's helping me. All right, so I'm going to, just going to get it started first and then you can let go. Okay, you can let go now. That's it. What you want to do is you want to continue down. I'm going to put four in this piece, okay? So you want to continue down, and we're going to put another uh, screw and washer right here. Just continue on down. Now I'm going to flip it because it's going to make it easier for us to work with at the very bottom. Now when you get to the end here, you don't want to be too close to the end. So I'm going to move up and I'm going to actually put my fender washer right here. Guess what? It's finished. Now all we have to do is flip it upside down, or actually right side up now, and drive it into the ground. I'm going to find a great location for it in the yard, and we're going to do that right now. It's a little overcast today, but you want to find a sunny spot in the yard to place your compost cone. Positioned it in the hole to give it a head start, and now I'm going to pound it into place. So it's firmly in place, that's firm. And now all it needs is a little compost. So I've got my, my christening material here, and I'm just going to throw it in. This is Leah saying, you, you can do this. See you next time.